hello guys welcome to this uh, wonderful revision so this wonderful revision is on electricity this topic is electricity and um, the question is both beneficial to grade 12s that are doing physics and to grade 9 that are doing integrated science okay so this question is actually a grade 9 integrated science but the questioning level is that of grade 12 so if you're a grade 12 watching this video please pay attention because this video is going to help you okay so this is how the question is so the question says carefully study the electric circuit diagram below okay so let's start it we have the battery here then we have the switch then we have the resistors here then we have the voltmeter and then we have the ammeter here okay then they are saying how many cells are in the battery how many cells are in this battery here so first of all you need to know the presentation of a cell diagrammatically representation of a cell so a cell in a circuit is represented by a long bar like this like this and a short bar like this so this one is just one cell okay so you need to check in this one so again when you check here you have this which becomes one cell this one cell this another cell this another cell so you have one two three four so in total in answering this question you have four cells okay then let's move to the next page so on the next page we have answered the a already so we come to b which says calculate the resistance of resistor r to show your working so they want us to calculate the resistance of resistor R to this one and we should show the working now for you to be able to answer such a question you need to understand that these resistors here are connected in what we call series resistor so if you want to know resistor uh, R2 first of all we are on B you need to know that in total resistor for series resistors is R one plus r two plus r uh, three okay then we are given um r total resistor we don't know it but r one we are told it is one ohm so it is one ohm plus r two it's the one they want us to solve r two here we don't know then r three it is these two ohms here okay so in short if we collect like terms like this we we'll have this and this we add them it will give us like three plus in r2 now there are two things we need to know r2 and r total now r total is easy to be found so we can find r total here so r total will be found here because we have um this voltage here if we can we can find r total using the voltage across here okay this voltage across here it is 8 volts here and then we know that we have been provided current here which is the ammeter is able to read current in a series is the same so the current that is coming from the battery the current coming from the battery is the same so the current flows from the positive to the negative then it passes through all these and it goes back so this current which is read by the ammeter which is 2 amps is the same current here so now knowing all these we will be able to solve using ohm's law which says um, voltage is equal to current times resistor now this resistor we create it as total and if we make it the subject of the formula it will be resistor total is going to be voltage over current and then we have said voltage if we put 8 over current which is 2 it is going to give us 4 ohms so resistor total here it is going to be 4 ohms here so if we come back to this now r total is equal to 3 plus r2 we'll substitute r total 4 is equal to 3 plus r2 so we'll make r2 the subject of the formula so it will be like r2 is going to be equal to 4 minus 3 which is going to be equal to 1 ohms so our resistor 2 is equal to 1 ohms just like that okay 
So now let's solve for the other one, which is the question what? Question C. Okay, so let's solve question C here. So let me rub here. So question C here, they're saying, if the cells in the battery are of equal voltage, calculate the voltage of one cell. Okay, so we are on C. They've told us that if these four cells we saw here, they've got an equal voltage, then what will be the voltage of one cell? So there are four cells here. So four cells are there. They are the ones giving us this voltage. So four cells are giving us uh, eight volts. Then they want for one. So you just say, what about one cell? It will give you what? You put X. Then you do cross multiplication. Four times X, four x then equals 1 times 8 it will be 8 volts then you want 4 not x so you divide by 4 a both side of the equation so that x becomes uh, 4 into 8 it will be actually 2 volts all right so one cell you say one cell equals 2 volts like that so when you come to d if the resistor r3 is removed and the circuit with the remaining resistors R1 and R2 is completed by closing the circuit, the switch, what will be the reading of the ammeter? Okay, so what they're saying here is this. They're saying in this case, if resistor 3 is removed, okay, if this resistor 3 is removed here, then what we should know is that um, let me rub this place here to just clear out here. We are now going to D. Okay, we are on D. All right. So on D here, they're saying if we remove resistor 3, which is the 2 ohms, then we'll remain with resistor 1, which is the... Uh, 1 ohm and then resistor also 2 which is also 1 ohm so now the total resistor now R T is going to be equal to um, it is going to be 2 ohms now having that 2 ohms if they want the current because they are saying what will be the reading of the ammeter the reading of the ammeter so the ammeter reads current, so they want current. So get the same formula where we say voltage is equal to uh, current times resistor. So we call it total. So then we want current. So current is going to be equal to voltage over resistor total. So we we'll, uh, substitute voltage will remain the same because that's the one coming from the battery. So it will remain 8. But the resistor here will use this 2 here, so it will be 2. So now we'll say 2 into 4, 8, it will be 4. So the current now is going to be 4 amps, okay? That will be the current. I hope you see how this is moving. All right. Then now we move to the other part, which is the which part? Let me rub this part here. So we are going into part E. Part E says, um, part E says, um, calculate the total power with the remaining resistors R1 and R2 in the circuit when R3 is not used. Now they want the power. So in, in the same case, this is not there. They want power. So E, we should know that the power, which is represented by P, is equal to voltage times current. So we have seen that voltage will remain 8 and current, we have seen that it is going to be 4. So if we substitute here, we are going to have like 8 times 4. So 8 times 4, which is should be like um 13 two. then the units for uh, power are watts capital w like that yeah so basically this is how you solve this so for online lessons for science 
online lessons for science okay are available for gce and internals at the 120 kwacha per month and then for biology as well they are present as well at the 60 kwacha per month and then for mathematics they are available as well at the 60 kwacha per month online lessons are possible and they are good you do them at your own time at home so they are possible you can take chance on them so that you get to learn while see you are at home and if you work you have an opportunity to do the learning while you are working okay so if you are interested you can contact me on the numbers like 0969 73 or you call me on 0977 Okay, so only for business sake, these lines. So guys, as for now, we end here. Bye and see you in the next video.